Yeah, really pleased. Um, very professional performance, I thought. A very thorough performance. Um, obviously, a lot of noise about two gold leads. I thought we, we delivered a very strong performance defensively today to make sure we looked after that lead. And that um, being a pawn, that means that can for me with exactly the pinch farm. What, sorry? Obviously, you held on to a two goal lead today, whereas you had done earlier on the season, so I don't Well, yeah, I mean, certainly not so much work on the train pitch, but reminders of games when, you know, we have seen games through, we've seen them through with our professionalism, seen them through with our effort, uh, work ethic, and also the shape of the team. And I thought that was all on show today to make sure we saw that game through. That final half an hour, you played kind of maturity and all through the past season. How pleased were you to see? That resilience show. No, I agree. I spoke to the players after and I said, look, with all due respect, this club's done an amazing thing getting to where it's got to. But they haven't got our level of experience. I thought that was good because I thought I agree. I thought we showed that today, the, 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 the way of um, managing the game in different ways, you know, defensively with the ball, still looking effective, still creating chances and find that nice balance and that work's got to continue. Um, you know, in this... Like I say, it's no disrespect. It's done amazing. They're, they're fighting for everything which they need to do, of course. I've done that with another team and it's it's difficult. Um, but I thought we showed a bit of authority today with our performance all round. And Keane's finish will take more. Him and Tarkovsky are excellent dealing with it. Yeah, I mean, you know, Keane's had a lot of question marks over him and the weapon. We all, by the way, you know, the, 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 the club has a high demand and the fans have a high demand. But Keane, no, to be fair to him, you know, what people forget is he's out there every day. He trains every day. He's played through all the question marks. Played recently at Leicester with a really bad dead leg. Might have, might have suffered. Other players might have suffered and not made it. And he, and he deserved to stay in the team, I thought, and I kept him in. Um, Jared's close to being fit and possibly could have played. But I feel he needs another week's training as well to make sure that his body's right. But I thought Keane has delivered a very good performance today and an excellent goal. But he is, he's a very good finisher. Um, just going to have absolutely like, yes, Lindstrom. Um, illness, yeah, illness. Unfortunately, we've had a bit of that in the camp, and it was too too much for him to get down there. Um, he went down with it Thursday. Beto's had a bit of illness as well, but he managed to make it. Paddy, Sean, Michael Keane's playing well from the time together. Uh, and as well, seems to have built up. You both seem to have built up a level of trust. What's that based on? What have you seen in his game and training? Like? No, I just said to him when he went away in the summer. I said, look, it's not, it's not a done deal that you know that centre arse play every game. I said, of course I've been loyal to the ones last season because I thought they were excellent for a large part of the season. But I said, you know, come back fit, which he did. Fitter than he, but no, I suggest, oh, well, fit as I remember him. And I thought he'd worked really hard in pre-season. I thought all pre-season, actually, during the pre-season games, he's he a solid uh, performer. He didn't hardly miss any. Well, he got one knock, I think, and missed a game or came off um, at Preston when we, we looked after him. Um, and I think he's, he's earning the right to play and that's all he can ask of players, you know. It's not a given you play, but you want him to earn the right. You want him to put your, your doubt in your mind in the right way. And I think he continues to do that. But I, I think the team as a whole today, both in attack and defence, I thought it was a very balanced performance and I was very pleased with it. Idrissa Gay comes into the team that obviously played for Senegal during the Dinkmatch of Bengal. What can you do on that? Yeah, I mean, Idrissa will get fitter and sharper because he's missed chunks of training. He's missed a few games. Um, and it's harsh on Manga. I think Manga's done well, but obviously Andressa understands what we do, what the team does, and his experience in the Premier League. I thought he played well today. Um, Miko will get stronger and fitter as regards. When I say that, I mean Premier League fit and sharp. By the way, it's a different thing. You know, you get all the training, but we all know when you're getting out there playing them Premier League games, gives that extra. I thought Young he was excellent again today. He's another one. He has his question, but people question him, but that's the way it goes. He's, I said recently, he's a mature professional. He understands that you get questioned, but his mentality stays firm. Yeah, I, I made a bit of a call on that, to be fair to him. He, he was chomping at the bit, but the last game we put him in, maybe I felt just on the cusp of being a bit quick. He was fine for the game and did very well, but then, of course, he got injured the next week. So this one, I thought, he's only literally trained Thursday, Friday. I went, hang on a minute, we've got to be careful here. So left him so he could do work at the training ground and then continue to have a full week's training next week and then hopefully his body's more ready for when he's uh, needed or when he's ready to play and, and it keeps him... No, 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 no. It was my decision, my call. Sure, you, you've just rightly praised um, Michael Dean, but is it also a case of Jared Reddy? It doesn't matter, he might not keep his place now. Like. Well, 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 one thing for sure, all managers will tell you, 
it's a, it's a conundrum at times picking a team, but we need them all fit, and you want that competitive element. You know, you want everyone chomping to play. Uh, the biggest thing that does that is competition. You know, not just competition in front of you playing the opposition, but in training. You know, that competitive element, which is like, am I going to get the shirt? And that, that feeling, there's always someone breathing down your neck. And I think when you get that feeling, it often adds to the, the the power of a group and their performances. So we want that across the board, not just in centre and half positions, because I think we've got four very good ones. But we want it across the board, of of course. There's limitations that financially, but in the ideal world, you want a, a squad that are all complete, uh, all competing. Sorry, at all given uh, moments. And you said before this game again, rightly so. Nothing's a gimme in football. You still got to come here and. Yeah, so well, I've, I've been on that side. Don't forget, I've been with a team that's been promoted. You know, they get free hits at the beginning because. The noise is positive. All the fans are positive. Everyone's positive. The media are positive because they're all just saying, yeah, let's see how they go. And rightly so, by the way. You know, it's a tough division. It's hard to breach that gap and jump. They spend a lot of money here. But you have to now. What are you going to do? You can't, there's no one comes cheap anymore. So, And they've tried to do that. Um, they're still working. You know, they're still fighting. They're still doing everything they can to win games. It's just a tough challenge. So I have massive respect for these teams. And you know, I've been asked even lower down teams, I've been asked in cup games, you know, is that embarrassing? I said, absolutely not. I'd never consider myself to embarrass another team. What's that all about? They're a competitive team. Everyone has the right to win a game. So we've we've done that today and we've got to continue doing that.